I'm joined right now by Louisette Geis and Paula Williams. I, I can't thank you both enough for coming here. Um, I know that this is an incredibly emotionally charged day, and I also can imagine that was very difficult to hear from Harvey Weinstein's side. Paula, I will start with you. Um, how are you feeling today? What is your reaction to this news? And again, thank you for coming on. Thanks for having me, Jesse. Well, I was shocked, and I'm on the West Coast, so it was pretty early in the morning. It was before my coffee, so it wasn't, it wasn't good. Um, I was immediately shocked, and then I was confused. So I had to do a lot of reading and turning on the news and listening to what was going on and trying to figure out um, how this happened. Yeah. And, uh, Louisette, let me ask you, you played such a pivotal role in the conviction of Harvey Weinstein out in L.A. You see what happened in New York. Again, I can't thank you enough for coming on. I know this isn't easy. What is your feeling? What is your reaction to this news today? Because I know it must be very fresh. Mm -hmm. Well, my reaction after just watching yeah. what you played is even more anger than I had this morning. Um, I think, you know, when you have played a role in taking down such a serial predator, you know how challenging it is to do that and how much of a toll it takes on you and your family and friends. And to witness what happened today is just really egregious. And, and talking about that, Louisette, because you testified in the L.A. case, and as I was talking about with Harvey Weinstein's attorneys, that that appeal is still pending in light of what happened today, are you concerned that his L.A. conviction will now be overturned? I am concerned, but at the end of the day, it was a completely different case. Uh, they knew, they had heard about these appeals coming down the pike. Um, they tried to do things differently. And also, California has different rules, as we know. This is state by state. So um, that being said, you know, yes, I think we're always concerned. The whole reason I even testified against him is because Cosby's out. So if Cosby's out, anything's on the on the table, I feel. And, um, you know, if we're willing to let him go, I knew that it was important and imperative that I step up and I say something and be part of that case. So listen, he still has 16 years here in Los Angeles, and we can't wait to have him in our prisons. And, and Paul, let's be very clear. I mentioned this before. He's not innocent. He was not acquitted. He was not exonerated. This is not a case of... Uh, you know, a murderer where the real killer comes out and says, I did it, and the man walks free. No, he could easily be retried again. Maybe, maybe not easily, but he could definitely legally be retried again. Having said that, with this decision, what do you think this message is for people out there, other victims, future victims? Uh, it was, you know, we, it was the height of Me Too movement. It was talking about how the, the ability to come forward against powerful people. This decision, what effect do you think it's going to have? Well, of course it's not good, and I want to say don't get discouraged. Um, it, uh, I'm worried about what kind of precedent this might send. Um, I mean, let's, let's be real here. He's not innocent. He's a rapist. He's a serial rapist. And if a hundred women that come out and are on record saying this can't get a rapist convicted, What's going on? We need to do a lot of work here. And I understand it was a techni technicality. And I'm all for, uh, you know, we all, of course, we all need a free trial. But maybe you can help me understand this. Why were these women even able to testify if, you know, if something like this could happen? It almost seems well, very, it seems so, very bizarre. So, Paula, that um, was something I wanted to ask you. I wanted to ask both of you this. But the question is, I was critical of the judge's decision because I cover high profile cases, I cover murder cases, I cover sexual assault cases. And if mistakes are made at the trial level, the worst thing that could happen is to the victims in the case. Because if the judge makes a mistake, this can very well happen. And I was critical of the judge doing this because I thought this might happen, that a, a higher court would overturn the conviction. And I'm curious um, that the high court said that this trial judge made a mistake, shouldn't have done it. Are you, do you have any anger? Towards, are you disappointed in the trial judge, Paula? Well, I, you know, back to the victims, like you said, what I'm really disappointed in is, you know, it's hard for these victims to testify. Right. It's, it's gut wrenching. And thank you for watching.
Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.